to continue to do it. Yeah. So let's not go down. You don't that need to shave your like, body you head you to toe and tan either. Right. Exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> um, there's there's a lot of things that don't need to be done yet. You continue to do them, so it's a horrible argument, right? Um, but if we if we look at that as like a base statement, and we say, okay, who actually who needs carbohydrates? So anybody under you know undertaking glycolytic activity, anybody that wants performance enhancement, um, you know, anybody looking to you know for those things. Then we look at people that are not training, people that just want to live longer. Well, research supports the fact that a ketogenic diet would would be helpful, right? There's anti-inflammatory benefits that have been shown from it. Um, you know, we know that that uh, inflammation is the one biomarker linked directly to longevity. Um, so anytime you're trying to control inflammation. Uh, a keto diet is going to work great. Um, you know, anybody that, that uh, you, maybe there's some, some pre-diabetes going on, um, a keto diet's a great start. Uh, now, I will say my stance on that has changed. Um, I used to say, like, that would be the place you definitely go. I think there's a short-term application there. Um, I think longer term, you should be working to actually build insulin sensitivity to tolerate carbohydrates. Um, some people will dispute me on that, but I, I can back that one up pretty good. Um, and, and, you know, again, like now I look at, I literally, right before I talked to you guys, I was on a podcast with a guy that was telling me in his, his off season of bodybuilding, he's eating seven, 800 grams of carbs a day. Um, you know, I would want to be testing like blood glucose there and, and making sure that, you know, while you might need that to make your quote unquote gains, uh, you know, at some point you have to be looking at your insulin sensitivity and your blood glucose. And so, you know, a brief ketogenic sample, a uh, brief ketogenic phase to bring that insulin sensitivity back up, bring the blood glucose down, um, would be advisable. So really those are, those are the main applications. The one that I want to just straight up fucking bash is ketogenic in aerobic sports. Mm. Um, I'm so fucking tired of hearing the aerobic people be like, keto this, keto that, like, when you understand physiology at a certain level, uh, yes, aerobic exercise is prim primarily fueled by fats. And so anybody that claims to be completely aerobic can get away on a ketogenic diet. That being said, aerobic athletes, like the key word there is athlete, not aerobic, um, at some point they are going to hit threshold, um, meaning whether it's anaerobic threshold or in their case, aerobic threshold. Aerobic threshold is primarily fueled almost solely by carbohydrates. And so when that carbohydrate is not available, now all of a sudden you're starting to have a massive cortisol response. Well, initially that cortisol response is great, which is why a lot of these aerobic athletes see success short term on the ketogenic diet. But long term, they begin failing and they begin getting worse. Well, prolonged like over like having an abundance of, of cortisol elevation is only going to smash your HPA axis, which is extremely difficult to recover from. So. You know, these athletes are highly misinformed, saying that they're only using fat for fuel. Well, they might be predominantly in their aerobic setting, but as soon as you're competing, you're in a setting where you need carbohydrate. Like, it's, you know, and, and there's so many studies that show that. Like, you look at, uh, like, Ben Greenfield, when he did Volick's 90% fat keto diet, he, he did really well in the Ironman, but then he fucking tested his hormone levels. They were complete shit. Mm. Uh, so, you know, you start to look at, like, what are the real effects? Like, a lot of people are using keto in like an n equals one situation and they're not showing prolonged application which is really where the real research should be should be done and like you said like uh if carbs aren't hindering your performance and they may add to your performance a little bit why wouldn't you get the extra calories and plus they fucking yeah, taste good so well, it's just like logically listen, you break like, down who the fuck yeah who doesn't want a carbohydrate the rest of their life yeah, yeah. like seriously I cannot, I, I will never meet one person that it's like, listen, that piece of cake doesn't look good. Of course it does. <laughs> or you're a lying, like, or you're a lying bastard, you know? Um, like, either one is okay if that's what you want to do with your life. But at the end of the day, at some point, most people are going to desire a carbohydrate. You, you know, gender specific. 